How's it going guys? Welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about thermal paste. Not that. Thermal paste. Uh, closer. We're actually going to talk about thermal paste. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thermal paste or a thermal compound or a thermal goop, whatever you want to call it. This is what you apply to the top of your CPU before you insert your heat sink or your water cooler or whatever you have on there. You need to have thermal paste. And today we're just going to be talking about why it is and what's the purpose of this little goop that you put on your CPU. Uh, this does not glue your CPU in any way, shape, or form. I believe there are some adhesive thermal paste out there for some industrial purposes, but not for your computers. Thermal paste basically's main purpose is to ensure contact between your heatsink and your CPU. So the most prominent way that heat is transferred is through surface area. So if you have good contact and you have a lot of surface area, you can dissipate more heat. So what the thermal paste ends up doing is filling in all the little air gaps between the two solids that touch each other. So that way they have basically near perfect contact and that way more heat can get transferred to your heat sink to dissipate it. So your CPU is sitting there and it's heating up and when your CPU and your heat sink are touching just bare, there will exist little air gaps in between them since it's not going to be a perfect flush touch. So the thermal paste fills in all those gaps. And so the heat then transfers from the CPU to the paste itself, which is usually a pretty high thermal conductivity. And that will easily transfer the heat onto the surface of your um, cooler, whatever cooler you might have, and that'll go to your fins. And then that dissipates to your case. And that's the main purpose of it. And you can see there's a lot of different kinds of thermal paste because a lot of them have different properties. So the more expensive ones are more likely going to be um, better at conducting the heat through the thing and as well as not only being better at conducting the heat but they're also going to be some of them have like cool features like oh they're not electrically conductive so a lot of things that have good thermal conductivity also are great conductors of electricity the only bad thing about this is if this gets on your board anywhere but the top of your cpu you don't want it connecting electricity because it's going to be connecting different parts of your motherboard and could short something out if you accidentally have some that's where it's not supposed to be. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, there's not really a lot to talk about in thermal paste besides which one should I get, but obviously that just depends how much you want to spend. And you can look up. There's tons of graphs and reviews and different things people have done. I'm not going to do those because they're already out there. Uh, I'll link you some, though, in the description if you are wondering which one you should get. There's going to be a ton of tons of data you can look at online of the performance of all these so i hope this helps you out guys if you have any more questions or you want me to go into this topic further please leave a comment below and as always i'll see you guys in the next one